Their recent announcement of Devin AI has created waves on social media, and many developers fear that AI will take their jobs. This is not going to be yet another shallow, will AI take my job video. I think there are three points here that nobody seems to talk about. These three points will define the way in which AI changes the tech industry, the industry we all work in. The first point I'm going to talk about is how VCs and investors are reacting to tools like this coming out and how this will reshape the startup landscape. This is a crucial point because it acts as a baseline for everything else. The second point I'm going to talk about in this video is the amazing opportunity that most developers I'm talking to at least seem to totally miss here. And the third point is, is Devin AI or any other type of AI developer agent going to replace us? Are we going to lose our jobs? So first, a small recap on Devin AI for those who don't know. Devin AI is basically an AI developer agent who can take tasks and solve them, just like having a developer in your team. It was built by Cognition Labs in what appears to be the perfect example of building in stealth mode. They came out of nowhere. They even created their X account just two months ago and have since become extremely viral after the announcement in just one day. The team has also raised $22 million from top investors who, how do I say it, know their shit. Now, what makes Devin AI so special? The team behind Devin AI claims that it surpasses any other AI model in the SWE benchmark. This benchmark tests the ability of AI models to solve real-world coding problems from open source projects on GitHub. Devin AI seems to score 13%, meaning it managed to solve 13% of those coding problems, whereas capable models such as GPT-4 that we all know only managed to solve 1.7%. If true, this in itself is a huge development in the AI world. Now, I don't think Devon AI is the point here. Let's dive into our first topic, the impact of this on the venture capital space and startups in general. We cannot overlook this, as many of us either work for startups or work for mature companies that at some point were startups. Traditionally, the lifespan of a startup goes like this. Somebody has an idea, they build an MVP, they prove that people need it, and then they pitch it to investors and raise capital, either a pre-seed or a seed round. Then they put about 75% of their spending into engineering just to make the product better and prove that people will use it. At this point, they improve their metrics and raise a serious A round, anywhere from $15 million to $40 million and even more. At this point, they need to prove not just that people will use it, but also that people will pay for it, finding their product market fit. And even at this point, startups spend around 75% of their capital on engineering. And startups will keep doing this until they either die because they run out of money or because they get acquired or IPO'd. Great success! Now, here is where things are going to change with regards to AI. And this is based on multiple conversations I've had with well-respected investors. And for the record, I'm the CEO of an AI infrastructure company myself. Many VC firms are going to completely change their investment thesis over the next few years. In a couple of years, companies won't need to spend so much on engineering anymore. Why is that? Well, AI. With the help of AI, small teams of extremely talented founders will be able to build amazing products that compete with the big fish. Not necessarily original products, by the way you'll see small companies literally copying the big successful companies, but they're going to do it in a very lean way as a small team. And suddenly we're going to see small niches and micro SaaS products, which were traditionally non-fundable by venture capital firms, becoming extremely viable investments. Because even though the potential user base will be small, so are the expenses. It's a small team. VCs will have one shot to invest in bright people and great ideas. One round, a couple million dollars max is all you're gonna need to get that 10X return on your investment. All that thanks to AI. Now, this leads me to my next point. Remember I just said, with the help of AI. You see, developers seem to largely be split between two camps. Either, wow, this is going to replace me. Time to learn woodworking or eh, this is not good enough. Nobody will use that in production. The code is not good. It doesn't work. Whatever. When developers see products as capable as Devin AI, they either freak out or are extremely skeptical. We developers need to stop seeing AI development agents and tools as either our replacement or as total crap. There is this concept called human in the loop AI, which 
many functions in the tech scene seem to have adopted already. And I'm talking about sales, marketing, recruitment, and so on. But developers, hell no. We just use GitHub Copilot. We need to understand that human in the loop AI is where we can shine. We need to accept that AI tools will be incorporated into our workflows. And we are going to see this with, for example, automated tests, uh, automated documentation generation for our new features, automated reports after a production incident or automated code reviews. We developers live at an incredible time where really, really valuable AI knowledge is held by data scientists. And no disrespect, but it's not data scientists who take projects to production. With AI becoming so accessible, it's time for us developers, those who actually know how to deliver software end to end, utilize this and 10x our impact. Yet at the same time, most developers that I know know nothing about AI beyond sending an API request to OpenAI. Basic concepts like RAG, vector stores, handling AI memory, agents, etc. Some of my best friends, extremely bright and sharp developers, simply don't know them. These take a few weeks to learn. And by the way, if you want me to make some videos about these, please let me know in the comments down below. Now, we already have the baseline for this. Companies highly favor the concept of full stacks, right? Jack of all trades, because in today's day and age, being able to build and deliver something from zero to production is extremely valuable. AI will be added to that stack and those who know it well enough, especially in its early days, uh, today, will really come out as winners. Before I talk about the last point here, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you like the video. I'm planning to make a video about AI agents for the common full stack developer and I would love for you to see it. I try really hard to deliver original content and I'm personally tired of seeing YouTubers just opening up blog posts and reading it on camera. So I work really hard to do my research and share from my own experience so you can actually leave this video with some valuable insight. So if you can, please show your appreciation. All right, to the last point, will AI take my job? I'm sure you've heard this before. No, AI will not take your job, but humans using AI will. And I don't like this answer because I think it's oversimplified. Let's use Devin AI as our example here, since it seems to make a lot of noise and also allegedly seems to be the most capable AI developer agent we have seen to this day. 13% of issues solved. Imagine you get a junior developer in your team and they deliver 13%. You know what? Let's be generous here. Let's say 30% or 40%. It's simply not enough on its own. With this level of success as an independent AI agent, it's more of a pain in the ass than something valuable. When a technology needs more nurturing than the value it produces, it's simply not enough. Another important point is that I personally think Devin AI gets to benefit from the viral hype more than anything else. It's currently behind a waitlist. All of these amazing examples we saw are from screen recordings. That could very well be take number 10 at an attempt to solve a coding problem. Or maybe these could be very selective use cases that Devin AI seems to shine at. As a rule of thumb, let's be skeptical about hype, especially when you cannot go and try it out yourself. I would love to see some popular content creators getting access to Devin AI, using it, and then sharing their experience. I'm down, by the way. And that's when we are really going to know its real worth. But if Devin AI or any other tool is good enough to do the base work for us and have us spend 50% less time on repetitive tasks so we can focus on being productive, that's huge, and that's where humans using AI, humans in the loop, will win over skeptics who seem to avoid AI at any cost. Folks, this is honestly one of those topics I'm most passionate about. Thank you so much for watching, and I really want to know what you think, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.